previous lecture, we started with the Kaluza Klein theory, and then we worked our way to scalar fields in five dimensions, and then we discussed those uh, mathematically in the framework of Kaluza Klein. Today, let's move on to gauge field in five dimensions, and this is somewhat a bit more complicated instance of a gauge field and uh, of any field in five dimensions. So we're going to start with this gauge field A and A with subscript M, which denotes that it's in five dimensions and it is, uh, well, it is a function of X mu and y where again like previous lecture x mu is for the normal four dimension coordinates and y is your uh, fifth dimensional coordinate right so this thing is equal to uh, what i'm doing is uh, i'm going to simply carry out the fourier decomposition which we did in the previous lecture as well and it will give you 1 over under the root 2 pi r times summation over all n levels. So uh, of a m n, time, uh, uh, which is a function of x mu. And the fifth dimension goes into this exponential. So you have iota n over r times y where r is the compactification radius of S1 circle and y is just your extra dimensional coordinate. Now, one more thing is that the derivative across the extra dimension, uh, which is partial, uh, partial 5, will be replaced with uh, this thing, iota n over r. Uh, this happens under the Fourier decomposition, right? And now we know that the uh, the uh, the action in uh, for the gauge field uh, is something like well, it is the integral d four x uh, of where the Lagrangian is minus one four f uh, mu nu f mu nu right so this is in your normal regular 4d physics but what happens in a five dimensional space because if you remember last time i said this that our m is uh, m4 cross s1 where this m is your uh, for 5d right and this one is four dimensions and your fifth dimension is on this circle S1. So I can rewrite my uh, action in five dimensions as D, uh, uh, D4x. And the fifth dimension is Y. So we have DY. And the Lagrangian is now one, minus 1 over 4 uh, F. Uh, now we'll have m and n where uh, this n is also uh, it is just the it's just like this n is also n 4 cross s1 right so you'll have m n uh, and you'll have f m n and this is your action in uh, in five dimension physics right Okay, so now the next step is, if you remember from uh, electrodynamics, we know that the, this, uh, this f mu nu can be written as uh, partial uh, mu a uh, nu minus partial nu a mu, right? So this is your f mu nu right the electromagnetic uh, field strength tensor now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this action 
in uh, separate uh, it out in four dimensions and I'm going to keep the fifth dimension uh, separated from it. So what I mean is, let me write it down, we'll have S uh, is equal to integral d4x dy and a minus 1 over 4. Uh, now the fourth dimension we have in mu nu, right? So mu and nu runs in four dimensions. Then you'll have plus. Uh, now we'll have plus 1 by 2. And uh, I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to this uh, this fifth dimension part of this f m n. I'm going to write it in terms of these things, right? The reason for that is simply because our derivative along the fifth dimension is replaced by this thing under Fourier decomposition, and so once I write it in terms of this, I can replace this partial five. Uh, with this term over here, right? So let's do that. We'll have minus, uh, sorry, plus one by two partial mu a5. And uh, we'll have uh, minus partial five a mu times, uh, we have two of these fmn. So uh, now let's write it. The co contravariant form would be partial, uh, partial mu a5 minus partial uh, 5 a mu. Right? And this is now your action. Now what I'll do is I'm going to uh, do this replacement of these partial mu, sorry, uh, not partial mu, uh, this partial uh, 5, right? So the covariant derivative along the fifth dimension. So let's rewrite this thing as the integral d4x. Now let's write first, I'm going to write the uh, this thing over here. Uh, d4x, you'll have sum over n of uh, of this four dimensional uh, Lagrangian. So you'll have minus one over four F uh, mu nu minus N F N uh, mu nu, right? And then you'll have plus one by two partial mu A uh, five minus N um, plus now let's replace this fifth dimensional derivative iota n over r uh, a mu and uh, sorry uh, yeah yeah exactly this is how it will be a mu of n and uh, then you have this another term over here so i'm just going to write it down over here multiplied with uh, partial mu a five n minus this thing again replaced iota n over r a mu uh, a n mu right now this is our action in uh, five dimensions right so this thing this is our action in five D. Now, I'm going to do some, uh, well, I'm going to pick a gauge now. And the reason for that is, well, one of the reasons is to get rid of the mixed terms. What I'll do is I'm going to force uh, this thing, A5, I'm going to force it to be a constant, constant along the extra dimension, right? So, this a5 is uh, this 5 is that extra dimension the fifth dimension and uh, how i'm going to do is that simply by picking a gauge where we have a uh, a n mu goes to a n uh, mu 
minus iota uh, 1 over n over r partial mu a 5 n right and for all uh, for all n which are not equal to uh, 0 we will have a 5 just simply goes to 0 right a 5 n simply goes to 0 now in this particular gauge right so this is our uh, gauge now in this gauge the action the action becomes uh, integral d4x uh, let me just go and check okay so we have yes now this will become d4x minus 1 over 4 uh, f mu nu uh, my uh, 0 f mm, 0 mu nu and uh, then we'll have plus 1 by 2 partial uh, mu a 5 0 partial uh, partial mu a mu 0 plus now I, I think it would be better if I write this down over here uh, plus we'll have some which will run for n uh, either equal to or greater than 1 because we have already written down for 0 over here now we'll have 2 times minus 1 by 4 uh, f mu nu minus n f n mu nu then we'll have plus 1 by 2 n squared over r squared right uh, if you go back and look over here we have just taken these things out and we have a mu uh, minus n a mu n now let me just recheck this thing once again minus 1 over 4 f mu nu mu Okay, so it should be this thing, right? Now, the next step is if you look at this action, uh, well, long enough, you will realize something that the zero modes, they contain a four dimensional, by zero modes, I'm talking about these ones, right? So they contain a 4D gauge field and a real scalar. And for non-zero modes, you can see that a uh, a five n is scaled, so it's uh, it, that just means it goes to zero, it vanishes, and then there are no scalar mods left for non-zero kk levels, right? So uh, let me just write it down. This is scaled for uh, for for non zero modes and which you can also by the way see from this gauge that we chose over here right so for all non-zero modes a5 is just zero okay now the next step in this is to uh, is to match the five dimensional and four dimensional gauge coupling uh, and for that we will examine the five dimensional covariant derivative which is dm, which is equal to partial m plus iota g5 a m. Now, this is your uh, 5D covariant derivative. So let me just write it down over here. 5D covariant derivative. And now... If you look at this, note that in the view of the fact that a m has, uh, or you don't you don't need that right now. So I'll not talk about it right now. Let's just stay over here for some time. 
but now what if i if i expand this a uh, this a m or a mu in the covariant derivative this thing if i expand it into its kk levels which is by the Fourier decomposition, by the method of Fourier decomposition, I can write uh, this d mu as partial mu plus iota g5 a uh, mu. Now, just expanding this thing, I can uh, write this as partial mu uh, plus iota g5 uh, of 1 over mm, 2 pi r which will have under the root a mu 0 plus so on right you, you remember that there over here we have also have when we do the Fourier decomposition we have summation where n runs from 0 to infinity right if you uh, I don't know if I have the Fourier decomposition written, but uh, for this we have for this a m we have this thing right. So we have this sum, and so we can uh, we can write it uh, in terms of sum over here as well. But anyways, you have plus so on right. You get the point. But the thing that you see from this expression over here is that uh, the four-dimensional gauge coupling. You can see that it just reads g uh, 5 over under the root 2 pi r right you can get it from this one this is your four dimensional gauge coupling because uh, this uh, a mu this mu is for four dime for the uh, physics right also uh, note that the five uh, dimensional or or even higher dimensional gauge coupling has a negative mass dimension which just implies that the theory is non-renormalizable as it becomes rigorously interacting at the energy uh, scale of well it is approximately 1 over g5 squared right and so then that means that this theory then it must be treated as a low energy effective theory with uh, with a cutoff which is uh, this lambda uh, uh, it it should be it should be somewhat of 4 pi over g5 right and uh, you also i think you have a squared over here right yeah so anyways in the general run of things if we were to start with a 4 plus n dimensional uh, gauge theory with n dimensions being compactified on a torus, then the non-zero modes are bound to contain a four dimensional gauge field along with n adjoint scalars, which you also saw in this thing that the, uh, the zero modes contain the four dimensional uh, gauge field and uh, the 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 other one uh, and all non zero kk levels will have a four dimensional massive vector field and n minus 1 adjoint scalars anyways uh, we'll get into the details of uh, these things uh, kk levels as we move further in this series this was just an example of uh, how you deal with a gauge field in five dimensions. Next time in the series, we'll look at higher dimensional gravity, where we'll, we'll form a general formalism, or we'll look at a general formalism for the higher dimensional gravity, where we'll talk about uh, the decomposition of the kaluza klein states and then we'll see how do we get the propagators for gravity and so on